Hello everyone and welcome to the final part of Sonic 3D Flicky's Island on the Sega Saturn. I am the Sheep of Sheep and Danis. Today we will be tackling Panic Puppet Zone and the final battle. So let's get going, shall we? Now, th this zone is uh, unique. It's nothing like the previous zones before it. And granted, every zone is just a little, little quirk, a little own gimmick. But this is an uh, interesting one. It actually has plot to go with it, folks. Or like Panic Puppet seems like a weird name, but uh, there's a reason behind why the zone is named that, which I'll get into as soon as the zone starts. Loading times. There we go. So, basically, oh, I love this track, Sonic Chronicles Butcher did though, but um. Basically, apparently, according to the plot, because yes, this game does have a plot, Eggman hadn't didn't have enough time to actually put the flickies into Badnik, so now they're scattered across in capsules across the entire stage. And as a result, everything's this is him panicking and sending out a bunch of random puppets to try and uh, stop you. So Basically, yeah, this is uh, the end. This is the final stretch, folks. We have almost finished the game. Now, these switches you see by here, just run on top of them, and it'll change conveyor belts such as this. Now, you need to use this to get around. You'll get used to it over time, but it's... Sometimes the collision detection can be quite a bit finicky, but for the most part, it's perfectly fine. So, it's time to roll on and uh, stroll on. Wee! <laughs> a wee! But I really do love this song, this music track. Uh, like the late, the end of game tra music tracks in, this, in the Saturn version seem to be much better than like anything. Although the Mega Drive version, most of the songs in the Mega Drive version actually have been remixed because they're they're more popular, really. And I don't, I know why they're more popular. They're more methodic, me me melodic, you not methodic. Nah, words. But. You just need to keep a close eye. These the flicky capsules are usually hidden in the corners of each room, but um, they're a lot harder to find than you would expect. They're not. They are not like finding badniks in normal stages because they are they're scattered around and sort of hidden within the environment. So you really do need to have a look around. So scratch around each and every nook and cranny and try and find a new capsule. Which uh, I like actually. It's, it brings a new, new change of pace to uh, the stage. But normally, by the time I get to this point, I am usually just so fed up with the game and I want to get it finished. So I just don't have the time to uh, really appreciate it because this, this, this game, folks. As much as I like it, it is tedious. It is a very tedious game to play through. And I am clipping through this platform. This should not be allowed. Video game. Sega. What the hell? Why am I clipping through the platform? Sega. What did you do? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, I did it. You know what? Screw it. I'm going I'm going the long way again. I don't know. Hey, I know. This program, this platform, dodgily, so you can clip through the picking thing. And what were they thinking with that? But, well, they weren't. They were probably thinking, hey, the game's getting close to finishing, we better rush this out, so. <laughs> I don't know. But let's just keep moving, listen to the awesome music, and just be careful, because. This. 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 Stage is prim. The stage is filled with traps, and if you go up there, which. I didn't really get explained, there's another lever, so if you can't get down here, go hit that lever. It'll change the conveyor belt so you can take this extremely long ride to the other side. We done? Good. Okay, let's get going. Okay, and there's another lever here in case you need to backtrack for whatever reason. Probably if you haven't got all the flickies in the area. Oh my god! But, this is the last time you'll see the flickies now. It's This is it. After this, they are disappearing if I can if I didn't die they would have disappeared and that was the end of the stage <sighs> I'll meet you back at the exit and we are 
Ah, oh, I missed that flicky. Be right back. Okay. And we are back. That was very annoying. I missed the one the very first flicky on that then. Right. It's time to get moving on to Act 2, which is nothing like the rest of the game. Act 2 is straight up run to the end. That's it. That's all there is to Act 2. That's and in fact Act 1 is like one of the shortest in the game if you do it right. If you're like me and you're an idiot, you don't do it right, you get to get ages. Okay, okay. But um with that it's just time to tackle head on up to the Eggman. Time to finish this off once and for all because we all need a rest after all this, don't we? And, oh my god, this music. But yeah, this entire stage takes place around a giant Eggman tower, so... Gonna be quite some nice scenery in this one. Also, don't bother with the Bannocks. If you can, run around them. They, they are really just a distraction. The turrets will hurt you the most out of everything. In reality, you just want to take your time, but... Because this is a Sonic game in which we haven't seen barely any speed so far... Screw it. I'm going fast. I'm going to show you, show off why this game could have been amazing. Plus the music is just fantastic here. But uh, yeah, very good stage. And this, if you look by here, secret passage with a one-up. Don't know why you'd need a one-up at this point, but it's, it's there if you need it. I don't know... That just popped in my head. I almost never get that, but oh my god. I wonder how, how much money you spent on that. And as you can tell, that was a, tra a, a trap floor. They're hidden around the entire area, and they are very... Well, they're not hidden. They're quite visible, to be honest. But they're around the area. They're annoying. All right, this is a lift. You jump on it, and it automatically goes up. Very easy to get crushed by, though. So be on your toes. Or be on your knees, as I said earlier on, because yeah, that's how things work in this world. Do do do. But I really do like this stage. It got this epic. This is the end sort of feel to it, which makes a change. All right, I hate that Bannock. He almost always shoots you off that platform. So on that specific platform, be careful, because. He's annoying. Let's just say that. Oh, come on. But, this is the end of the stage. Just jump up to Eggman's nose. Ooh, that's nasty. And you have completed all the main levels. Now, it's now we just got boss fights. Two boss fights. One of which is very long, and one of which isn't can guess which one's which. You'll find out now, actually. But, um, yeah, this this next boss fight is the final boss if you don't have the seven Chaos Emeralds. This is where the game would normally end if you don't have the Emeralds, and it'll give you the bad ending. And this boss is nothing really that special. It's extremely easy. It's got a couple of phases. For this first phase, jump under the platform, hold, actually stand under the platform until it starts to hit you, then run up to the side and hit its shoulder pad when it blinks. So it's really pathetically easy. After so many hits, one of them's gonna break and then do the same thing again. So just take your time. Well, you don't even need to take your time. Let's just wail on him. <laughs> it's easy. As long as you're very good at, well, you, yeah, as long as you're relatively decent at timing things, you, you, you're not going to get through this, no problem. Alright, this one, I believe he starts shooting at you. When he shoots at you, run to the side that's blinking, which is basically the side that attacks. And uh, hit the shoulder pad, or in my case, miss it. Wait, ah, what the hell? Oh yeah, by the way, those arms, they hurt you. But this boss fight, I'm making it look harder than it really is. It's really pathetically easy. Just run from one side to the other and uh, don't get hit. 
be said as he gets hit. But yeah, trust me, it's just... This is just a pathetic boss. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad for a final boss, because most of the bosses in this game are pretty... Ugh. But once you get him into the pat, once you get into the pattern of fighting him, <laughs> it's pathetically easy. Like there's one arm down, there's one more to go here now. And there we go, phase two complete. So let's move on to the third phase, and I think this is the final one. Yes, it is. Now stand by here, wait for him to shoot, jump whenever he shoots. Well, actually, hit him, then jump repeatedly when he shoots, and you should be fine. He shoots one end and he shoots the other and just run to the other end and hit him when it's blinking. So, you really just don't have to worry. It just goes, the boss fight goes by quickly. There's n nothing to worry about. But, if you don't know what you're doing, you can die here quite easily because... You Basically, this boss fight's easy because you know the pattern. If you don't know the pattern, you just see him shooting balls everywhere, and he's freaking at a random, like, sort of... Nah. Usually, you can just dodge the balls by just jumping randomly, so... But with that, we have completed the final boss of the main game. Well, now it's time to tackle the main, main final boss of the game, which is only accessible if you get the seven Chaos Emeralds. Now, by year, if you were playing the Mega Drive version, you get a nice little CG sort of cutscene. I don't know. I don't know why they took that out of the Saturn version. Actually, did they take it out of the Saturn version? Black screen. Yeah, they took it out of the Saturn version. But Saturn version has an in a CG intro and ending, so it doesn't really matter. But oh my God, does this look ever fancy? Now, grab two or one ring. You don't. Grab all the rings because you're gonna need them. You have to beat this. This boss fight is very simple, but he, you have to fight him twice. Basically, dodge his lasers with his first form. After two sh two attempts, he'll come out, hit him, and he will be it. sort of just sort of like, oh no, no, oh, no way! I can't believe this, and he'll fly off. Now this phase, just dodge his fire a couple of times. I think on the third flame blast, he'll um, he'll become hittable. So just dodge his fire. Third time, he'll jump out, hit him, and that's basically it. Yeah, just rinse and repeat the boss fight. The boss fight is simple. Now this boss by here is a very good thing. I actually have audio here because the key to doing good on this one by here is to actually hear the, bo the sound cues. So here when the sound cue is about to go, and then run. And you want to get hit. So... You really don't have to worry. <laughs> In fact, you could probably just run around like a bloody lunatic going, Oh my god, what am I doing? And not get hit, so... Yeah, you can pretty much just run back and forth like a lunatic. Alright, at the very final phase, he'll go ahead and try and falcon punch you off the edge. Just uh, jump over it. And then he's just gonna pop in the middle, so when he jumps out, hit him. And it's pathetic. In fact, the only the only reason I say grab two rings and not runs not run, not one ring is just for an extra safety precaution, because the only place you can actually get rings is actually the beginning. Now he's gonna shoot out rockets, just run around and they'll they'll miss you completely. An interesting little triv actually now for this phase stand by well not by you this stand up by you because this is like a perfect angle jump occasionally after his third strike third set of shots he'll come out wait fourth set yeah after four shots he'll uh, come out and be attackable and with that we repeat the path again so let's grab another ring for safety. But yeah, interesting thing, in the Mega Drive version, all the background in this map was just black. It was just a black background. In here you can see all this machinery and it looks amazing. Although I did quite like the ambience of the black background in the Mega Drive version, because it's just like, oh my god. Holocaust. But this this boss really goes on for way too long and it's worth it. It outstays its welcome, because it's just easy. I mean, 
pathetically so. Ouch. As I was saying, pathetically so. He says as he get hit. Oh, yuck. Oh, ho, oh, oh. And the tactics are exactly the same the second time through, so... Basically, we've beat the game. <laughs> through and through, that's it. Just rinse and repeat what you did the first time. And you'll win. Oh yeah, don't spin dash. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. Oh yes. But yeah, basically use the sound cues and uh, you'll have no issues. See? I was actually pretty close. I almost got quite badly hurt there, but... Nah. No matter. Phew. Boom! Another one bites the dust. No way! I can't believe this! You better believe it, Doc. Wow! <laughs> See, now I'm resorting to voice acting. That's how little there is to say. Actually, for this phase, he actually... No, he, he still does it once. I thought he, he did it a couple of times extra. Then. Oh, the dog wants in on a let's play. Hello, dog. Okay. Jesus Christ. So, as per usual, dodge him a couple of times. So, there's one, two... Three, and just stand here and he'll never hit you. Four, and he's gonna come out. Boom! We have now done it! We have completed Sonic 3D Flicky's Island, folks! Yay! Celebrations all round. Phew! That went pretty well. Sonic got through the final boss. But remember, you need the seven animals to reach that boss, otherwise the game will just end a panic puppet, so... Keep that in mind if you want to go through the game. But with that, we are done. So now let's treat ourselves to a nice CGI outro cutscene. Nice little shot there. And that's it, folks. We have done it. Well, that's... I can put the controller down now. This, be, this console's been on all day. I'd probably be happy for me to turn it off. But we have now successfully finished... Oh, fucking dog. Sonic 3D for guitar. And so, what are my thoughts on this game? Music? I love. Soundtrack is phenomenal. The soundtrack in the Mega Drive version is also phenomenal. Graphics? Nice. They, they, well, I can't really complain. It's an old game. The gameplay could use some improvements. The... The controls are really horrible until you get used to it, so it's really, really just need to get used to the controls to, put, to enjoy, but apart from the fact it's extremely repetitive and tiring to play, it's a fun experience. I would say to pick it up if you have a Sega Saturn, and pick it up if you have a Mega Drive, actually. Mega Drive version is probably cheaper as well, and a lot of people prefer that version. Now, if any of you guys want me to, I'll upload a full playthrough of the Mega Drive version just as an extra video. But um, to be honest, I don't. I yeah, I won't be doing commentary over it because this face I've done the commentary once. It's, the game is identical apart from special stages and a few minor differences here and there, like graphics and sound. But um, yeah, that's it. Really good game. I hope you guys have enjoyed the LP and um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. So I'll end up my next LP now from this point. I was thinking of Kingdom Hearts, but uh, people, some people want me to actually wait until the HD re-release for that. So my next LP now is actually probably going to be Star Wing or Star Fox, the original one for the Super Nintendo. And um, my next major LP I am decided on yet, because as you know, I do these side LPs, which are like the older games, and a major LP, which is pretty much a new game. So I am decided yet. But from now on, but from here on, I'm just going to leave you listen to the closing theme, which is an amazing song. So 
thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!